I'm Dr. Judith Bowman and I have an interest in the role of estrogen as far as what it does to increase copper levels and copper juice metabolism in women. Generally, um, what is known is that as estrogen levels rise, copper levels are also rising. Uh, the significance of that has to do with um, mental processing, certain feelings of anxiety, a panic disorder, and even depression. Um, these things are indeed related. One of the most um, prevalent examples of that would be in postpartum depression, where a copper is actually needed for a fetus to produce blood vessels. That is the natural progress and process of um, what that is for um, as a, when a woman becomes pregnant um, the fetus needs these blood vessels however at the end of pregnancy when pregnancy is terminated um, copper levels should come down to normal however in many instances they do not if you happen to be that female or that individual who has a problem with elevated copper meaning that you are unable to remove that copper from your body uh, copper tends to do some things in terms of um, uh, free copper at least causes difficulties in processing from anxieties to um, depression and um, the most severe cases would be postpartum psychosis where the level of copper is so elevated it begins to literally short circuit processes and uh, not allow you to think in the appropriate manners or behave in the appropriate manners that would be um, more appropriate. Um, estrogen whether it is given exogenously, meaning from birth control pills or hormone replacement, can also cause some difficulties because it does indeed cause copper to be elevated. And once again, the short-circuiting of processes mentally uh, would be an issue.